What's up guys, NFJJ back at it with another video. I hope you do enjoy, and if you do, consider subscribing and hitting that like button, as it really does help me out a lot. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. In four. To see those two battling it out, and also behind them, Elliot Sadler. Oh, and another crash down the front straightaway. Stephen Wallace is involved. Standard Phoenix track off of four when you get over there. About five or six cars all blocking the track. Just watch for debris. Most of them are sitting on the bottom. There's the 66. The 30 of James Busher is also involved in this. Each other all day long. See here now that Stephen Wallace is going to try to make a pass on the inside. Uh, looks like he got a little bit loosened up into the 30. That's got Ron Hornaday gets underneath. There. Boy, our Calmarola slides past. So does Ricky Carmichael there in the 34. cars involved coming out at turn number four and it involved the group of cars that we were watching race Ken Schrader, Sterling Marlin, Jimmy Spencer, John Andretti, Jerry Nadeau also involved. Steve Grissom is also involved. We see him up as Ward Burton comes up and we see Spencer just touch the 41 car around he goes Spencer nails the left front these other cars just nowhere to go. Wow. Musgrave had nowhere to go ran in the side of the 33 car. About five of those drivers were on the lead lap. Once again, never see Ward Burton. Now Spencer comes off the corner, just touches the 41 car, just enough to spin in the 26 car. Benson just barely misses that wreck. Yeah, he's got to look up in his rear view mirror and say, man, yep. got through. Back there because we have a lot of guys. Front straight away. No caution. No. Clint Boyer in the two, no caution. Looks like he's going to make it to pit road and we'll stay green flag racing if he can refire that car. He does. Caution Yellow is, is out. out now. <laughs> Take him to the garage and put out his misery. There it goes. Yeah. He was just by himself and a hard lick into the outer wall, but uh, definitely the tire problem is what caused that. Your eye, right, buddy, talk to me. in the gearbox for restarts for starts some guys take off in first gear well we got a car that i believe that might be bobby labani no that would be jj yaley in the 18 car joe gibbs car Boy, now here comes oh man Tony had... Reigns, piles in and jason schuler what was up with that well i tell you that's a hard lick for jj that's right in the driver's door Tony Rains got hit in the rear by this uh, this car right here and drove him into JJ's car. That's Jason Schuler in the 10. Daryl, I think as JJ went off into turn one and two, gonna see him right here. Yep. Car no, just, he just took off with him. Takes up out of the groove. Now he's, you know, everybody's gonna get by here. He's staying up next to the wall, up next to the wall. Car's probably gonna come to a slide down the hill. And bam, that slide like this. Jason left from oh, that's incredible. Oh, oh. Overshoots the corner. All Guyer is through the clear, top guys. spot. You're all clear. Oh. Holy cow. Where did All Guyer come from? Carmichael. Car 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 McDonald's off again. Now he gets hit. He's sliding through the grass. A win is disappearing from Michael McDowell. Behind him, there's cars scattered everywhere off turn six. Leaders come through. McDowell gets off in the grass. Carmichael's off. Looks like he got three or four wrecks happening together all at one time. McDowell now, his chances go away to win, or it appears. Uh, and, uh, Steve Wallace got off and came across the track and collected the floor. Whoa. Good job. And Brian Scott in the gravel trap. Right through the grass. That was not yeah. a, there was no a move way that of a veteran. 
obviously looking for a place to go, and there's just no racetrack. He runs completely off the track in the grass, gets into Ryan Scott, and that's what happened. Saw a pavement there where the pit exit is, but that pavement goes away, and that turned uh, Trouble Genie back straight yes. away. In lap traffic, a car has been spun Tony around. Stewart. That's Tony Stewart in a 33 and, car. Larry, it all happened because of the chain reaction. Somebody up there had to get out of the throttle, and here they all come and piled in. Brandon Miller got backed up coming out of turn number two. In front of Tony. Tony gets into the back of him. And then Tony gets run into from behind. That may have been Reed Sorensen that got into the back of Tony. I can't tell for sure. We'll have to get another look at it. that caution if they pass him it will have to be on the high side because he's been <laughs> running that white line through both ends Shane Neal three wide and there's contact there Blake Beast goes around in the five the 25 collected of Ashton Lewis and more I don't think you're going to be happy about who calls this right now Joey Coulter still with a six tenths of a second lead over Ty Dillon Oh, hard into the wall, the 65. That is Chris Lafferty. We saw him slide out of four earlier, and now this time major contact with the wall. How about Parker Kligerman driving through there completely sideways, trying to avoid Chris Lafferty? Turn three and four. These guys are struggling. See if we can see what happens. Oh, look. Catches the apron, and watch this baby shoot up the hill. Phil, how many times back in the day? Oh, hard contact. Watch Parker Kligerman go through there. Look at that. Sideways. How many times back in the day do we hear Dick Beatty tell us in the NASCAR meetings, when you get down on the side, on the turn track, left. turn left and lock her down. You can come back and get some more tires. That was a lesson right there. Chris Lafferty could have used. Watch Kligerman. Wow, he about crashes. There just wasn't anything to gain from turning that baby that hard to the right down on the apron. Tell Cup winner, Bush Series champion, a lot of experience, does, does a great job in this Toyota truck. Carl Edwards will probably thank him later for that. Carl Edwards. Oh, oh hard big contact. hit. That was Bill Lester, I believe, in the 22. Bill Lester hits hard. Travis Quaffel goes down pit road. David Rudiman and Chad Chaffin also involved. Bill Lester's co truck comes to a stop just in front of the grandstands. David Rudiman David. Made, made contact with the inside wall. There was nobody standing on pit road. I looked up, saw it. David Rudiman hit the inside pit wall. There was nobody standing there, as I don't think we'll have no injuries from the pit bulls up on the inside. Gets loose on the bottom of the racetrack. We've seen it happen so many times. He, he takes the front end of David Rudiman's truck. They both make hard contact with the safer walls. That's what's critical is, is that see him watch him turn dead right, 45 degree angle, and made hard contact with the outside and, and wall. And that is no kidding. We got a big crash over this the corner the, now. This is the wreck of the night so yeah. far. Here they come. Lance Norrick, hard contact in the back of someone in the 90 Dodge. We see his other truck of Butch Miller sitting Lord on the inside. Now the three truck is trying to beat the 16 back. That has not yet dropped. Here's how it all happened. The first truck that spins is the 91 of Carl Long. We see Joe Buford in the 70 there. And Lance Nark just plowed in the back of Boris Said in the 44. And we see Butch Miller in the Dana Dodge down on the inside with heavy damage to the nose of his truck. Listen, listen to Barr said as he goes in turn three. Listen to this. Hit in the back. Hit in the back. Wanting to see. Oh, we got a crash. Andy Houston looks like Biffle's also involved in it. Wow. Biffle up on the outside. Looks like it. Yeah. What's left of the uh, Granger truck? Now we see Houston lose control. Oh, he got the truck loose and had to back off the gas, and that's when Biffle just ran up on the back of him. The Biffle got into the back of Houston after Houston he was down on the gas pedal. Meanwhile, Jason Bowles up front is cruising. Stan Silva inside of Schrader. Look at that. Oh, Silva into B.J. Jones. Not what he wanted to see. Oh, PJ. and Mike David gets. Hit by his teammate, P.J. Jones. Wow, wow. Not what P.J. Jones wanted. Still no caution. Man, oh man. Into that. They got down. You okay? Can you keep rolling? Here's another shot at that, Mike. Look at Silva. He has got a huge run going. Just drove into the right rear corner of P.J. Jones. And the caution is out. 
I think th there is some debris down. They've got to clean up some of that debris, I believe. They do. And, and I'm sure Silva did not do that on purpose. He just could not get that car stopped. Look at these cars still coming through. Minute. Moved out of the way there a little bit. Give Eric Holmes the room that he needed. Now it's Jim Englebright. Oh, and oh. Daryl Haar is in trouble. It's like the 10 car. West Banks. Jim Warren. Travis McCullen, the 35. Jim Warren, who's been through it already once today. And there, still Darryl, wrecking. Daryl Haar with some serious damage on the right front. And guess what? The caution is out yet. We're going to see exactly what happened here. There's Austin Cameron. Moses Smith right there. Or Moses Smith, rather. Excuse me, the 16, not the 18. Got a left rear tire down in Moses Smith car, so not sure if that happened before or after. Now, West Banks getting slowed down and got turned sideways. Paul Morris did a great job in the 09 of getting through all that. There you see Moses Smith slow down on the bottom of the racetrack. Har, that's what knocked that tire off. Moses Smith's car, obviously, made it go down. Not sure Har just didn't have anywhere to go and could not get the 71 car stopped and unfortunately. Coming off turn four. It looked like Mark Gibson in the blue and white car got loose up into the wall, came down into Daryl Waltrip. There comes Dave Marcus. He had nowhere to go. Ricky Rudd had nowhere to go. Then it back into the Bud car of Ricky Craven, and there's Park. Six cars right there in your picture, all spinning around. There's a car smoking. That's uh, Jared. Checking oh, on look at the smoke down that road. It looks like the engine has gone away. Now, a big crash up in turn two. Just a big crash. Must be oil from there. And game. Elliott is involved again in the car. Has flame coming from it. Wow, two weekends in a row. A terrible crash for Bill Elliott. Oh, that's too bad. And a couple of other... these cars that slow down. They are now. They, all the cars are by, so... Or someone gets tagged from behind. There you see the smoke and the cars deciding what to do. Elliot, oh, he gets up again on his side like Talladega. And that's Earnhardt so, spinning. Earnhardt did spin. Wow, from Bill Elliott's onboard team. Now, he was not far behind Dale Jerry. Dale had just passed him about seven or eight laps ago. And there he sees that smoke. See Kyle Petty. 60. Mike Skinner taking over the top spot. Just behind him, Clint Boyer. And the 14 of Rick Crawford now on the move. I talked about the love-hate relationship Rick Crawford has with this racetrack. He is the track record holder as far as speed and time in qualifying. Oh, problems with Craig Kinzer. A tough evening for Craig Kinzer. Such a strong truck early on. Hold the brake. Hold the brake. It was... A lot of damage. You see a spring rolling rolling down the racetrack. That came out of the rear of that truck. That truck is totaled out, Phil. Man, oh man, what a good run he had going to. Wonder what happened. I don't have any more tires, do they? Oh, he just, Ooh, got, just got loose. loose. Right? Ooh, man, did he make some hard contact with the outside wall. How about how quick Nashville threw that caution out there as well? Ooh, Kenny Schrader did a nice job getting by on the inside. So quick those things snap on you at times, Phil. Oh, they sure do. There's another view of it. It's looking. He tries to save it, and the thing just turns hard right. He tries to save it again and make some hard contact with the outside wall. If he hadn't have got down on the apron, he could have probably saved that truck. But, but the flat of the apron just hooks the truck back the other direction. We saw Kelly Byers do a very similar thing, but he was up a little higher on the racetrack. He didn't hit the apron like you talk about. Chris Corner. Place. Here comes through the corner. He's out of gas, but he's trying to 
keep the car going to get to the line, and there they make contact, and he once again moves over in front of 29, and around he goes. It cost Harvick a spot. Jimmy Johnson went by him. Is he trying to block him or just trying to get out of the way? I think he's trying to get out of the way, and Harvick, well, he obviously couldn't get around the left, so he turned back to the right, but in the meantime, he was all up in the back of Jeff Gordon. And the driver and crew chief of the 29 car have been called to the big red truck to have a little meeting. 